Now, live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Crummel. We are learning more about a deadly crash on Interstate 81 in Franklin County that killed five people, including a family of four from Middletown. Seth Kaplan live in the ABC 27 newsroom with the latest. Good afternoon, Seth. Good afternoon, James. This was a well known and well loved family in the mid state and beyond. Dane Molander was a rising star in the ATV motocross racing world. That's him right there. In fact, he won the sports Pro-Am, which is kind of like a golfer winning a Pro-Am. You get to play in the next Pro Tour event. Well, he was among those five people who died late last night on I-81 in Green Township near mile marker 18 in Franklin County. Police say the Molander's motorhome towing an enclosed trailer was heading south when it blew a front tire. Well, that caused it to cross the grassy median and into the northbound lanes. It slammed head on into a tractor trailer. Police say Donald, Kimberly, Miranda and Dane Molander and their dog were all killed. The truck driver, James Shade of Martinsburg, West Virginia, also died. I-81 was closed for several hours while crews investigated. The road is now back open. The Molanders were all on their way to a race down in Tennessee this weekend, which will go on, but needless to say, will not be the same. And when we get to our destination, we're with our families. They may not have the same last names, but they're truly family. Um, but we will get together and we will heal as a family. We're resilient. Um, we will mourn. Uh, we will cry. Uh, we'll laugh. And, uh, but we're going to do it together. And in Dane's case, his true family was all involved in racing, too. His sister Miranda, in fact, was a starter at these races. She would hold up a card when there was 13 seconds left, then 15 se uh, 30 seconds, then 15 seconds, then she would run off before the starting eight drop. She would present trophies uh, on the podium at the end. Uh, well known, all of them, James. She, Miranda, was 21. Dane was 19. Seth. Truly a heartbreaking situation ever since the names were released a little bit earlier this morning. I've seen message after message, social media posts after social media posts, the racing community in such mourning. Th these are such beloved members of that community. Clearly, and, and, and speaking with Tim Cotter, who you saw there, he he said something and I was going to ask him about this, but he said it before I even asked. He said, you know, we compete in this sport that is about as dangerous as any sport you can imagine, right? You, you, you compete in ATV motocross racing. You know there are inherent risks in that. If you think about a tragedy involving that sport, you would think it might take place on the track. In this case, a blown tire, which let's face it, could have happened to any one of us on a highway, and, and, and that is what killed this beloved family. Absolutely. And, and, and again, he was very, very talented for such a young age. So many videos of him being a national champion as well. Seth Kaplan, I know you'll continue to follow this story throughout the day. Thank you very much for that update this afternoon.